don't judge. We got some more age gap talk, folks. This time we got, I'm 23, he's 62, but I'm not after his money. Girl, what okay. The I mean, I didn't say nothing. I, that's just what the title said. We've watched a lot of Truly on here, so you guys should definitely know what the gist is. Unless you're new. If you're new, you might want to subscribe because I'm not normal. This is 23-year-old Willow, and she fell in love with 62-year-old David. We met on freaking Tinder. Oh. Shout out to Tinder. We'll take sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> It's safe to say that that's- Now they looking rich. They look expensive. Even down to the outfits. Is that a chrome heart necklace? Hold on, he got bread in his pocket. She might be up to some, even though she says she's not after his money. They'll take sponsorships. It's safe to say that their first date was a success. After they became boyfriend Ooh. and girlfriend- Don't break your head. Hour. I wake up every morning and- He's like, do I have a model in my bed? And I'm like, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> Getting ready to go to our anniversary dinner. Oh, they really, wow, this is really, wow, hold on. Now, they they look exquisite. This, this, that upper echelon uh, bracket. No, they look really, they look really expensive. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to like overdo it. But some of y'all think I'll overdo it. They literally look rich. Ooh. Three months. We've been to the Bahamas like three times in Punakana and Las Vegas. Twice. However, their 40 year age gap has attracted some online criticism. People like to call me a gold digger. Some people say I'm just a sugar daddy. Honestly, what do y'all think? I'm gonna be dead honest. By the way they present themselves, I wouldn't get mad if anyone said anything to me. You could call me whatever the fuck. The money's in the bank. So like clearly she she found her somebody who, you know, I don't want to get too much in a business, even though their business is on the internet. I'm David. I'm a real estate developer here in Charlotte. It's my girlfriend, Willow. This is our crib. 23. That's crazy. So whenever this was filmed, she was younger than me. That's like me. Oh, I've said this before. I'd be afraid somebody going to drop dead and then I'm going to look dumb as hell in the face. That's just my biggest fear. That's why I can't do it. Here in Charlotte, it's my girlfriend, Willow. This is our crib. It's a nice spot. This is our penthouse here in Charlotte. NASCAR Hall of Fame right down here. Really? Mint Museum right there. Bitch, did you just say really? You should you should know. You should be in the loop. This your life, this your lifestyle. You should be in the loop. You should know where everything at in that city. Oh my gosh, I would've I would've knew where everything was. I would've knew where everything come on. Here in Charlotte, NASCAR Hall of Fame right down here. Really? Mint Museum right there. Convention Center. I only have to run there. I won after of the year there. Before you were born. <laughs> Perfect. We met online on a dating site and we have been together today. Three months. <laughs> okay, today. they knew. They knew. Happy anniversary, baby. Thank you. That's crazy. She like, he really got her a dime. He really got him a dime piece. Like they both look really good together, funny enough. That's crazy. Is that is that is that too far off to say? They kind of compliment each other pretty crazy. Like this looks like something that could be on a movie. This could be on a movie and she could, it could be like, you know, she could be one of them little, them little stick up like, give me the fucking money. She could be on a whole different loop. Still thinks it's too good to be true. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm just here existing. My baby just moved in three days ago. We're still unpacking, trying to figure out how much of my closet I'm giving up. Most likely a bunch. This is going to be mine. And this is going to be mine. And this is going to be his. Before she even get to it, y'all gotta realize though, when that money stretch, it honestly does not matter however the tables turn for anything else in your life. If that money is so large that you could go to sleep, wake up, and it just triples by itself and you're not even doing anything. If the money was that great, honestly, I don't care what else is going on around me. Like if my significant other wants put majority of my closet space, sure, they can get it. You wanna go for ice cream? Sure, anyone who comes with is getting ice cream on me. It's just like certain things become easier to take care of to wear like to your average Joe, it would seem like a lot like, dang, hold on, she's getting X, Y, Z from him. And then, you know, it might be assumed that, you know, she's a gold digger, this, that, and the third. But honestly, if he able to cough it up, he don't care. She is in good hands from what it looks like. So she not worried about none. She's 23 in this. 23, he's 62. He's already lived three, four more decades worth to where he's he's lived a lot of life. He got a lot set up that she probably don't even know exists. It doesn't matter now. When I first met him, I didn't ask you how old you were. 
I didn't really ask you what you did. I didn't want to really know anything. I didn't want to be influenced by anything outside. I just wanted to like know him as a person first. I was a little concerned about her age because I was like, you're really young. I have a baby face. From there, it's been constant, constant, nonstop for the last 90 days. This is her favorite place. It just, that, that does kind of look like that could be like, that could pass. If no one knew, that could pass as her biological father. If, I, if I'm being fair, they match so well together that it seems scripted. I wouldn't be surprised if it was scripted. I'm assuming, obviously, it's not. I've watched a ton of these. This looks a bit too, like, I don't know. This is a very interesting couple. Like, this is a great pair. Place. Oh, I don't even ask her age. No, he does not. He acts like a 15-year-old boy. I get B12 energy shots. I do. For real? Yeah, I do. To keep up. Life literally is not fast enough for me. We've been to the Bahamas like three times in Punakana and Las Vegas. Twice. And Greenbrier. Greenbrier in West Virginia twice or three times. It took me to see the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet, back, back, all right. Growing up, I was like three, four, five, like listening to the Backstreet Boys. And I wasn't old enough to go to a yeah. concert. Like they just get to have so much fun, bro. Like I'm trying to have fun. I want to have fun, bro. The fuck? Take me to a concert. This the type of I see why people get jealous and stuff. Cause what what do we get what we get to do? I wanna go to the Bahamas three times. Up, I was like three, four, five, like listening to the Backstreet Boys, and I wasn't old enough to go to a yeah. concert. In public, people never really say anything at all. But I on social media, that. people like to call me a gold digger. Some people say I'm just a sugar daddy. But oh, you're so cute your with your dad and uh, Oh, it's nice you went to a Vegas with your grandpa. What you're doing is sick. I'm not allowed to read comments anymore because I take stuff like, personally. So I'm like, oh, look at this person being mean. To everyone facing judgment from haters, the haters, and that's how I live by it. Yeah, that's all you can do. Listen, this internet is crazy. You could log up on here and for absolutely no reason someone complains to you. This one, like, I'll watch stuff like this, please. Please, I hope y'all don't think the second this camera goes off, I am losing sleep over the content that we consume together. It, it just don't be that deep. It really don't be that deep. I'll just be finding it interesting. But if, if you're willing to cry over it, uh, oops, you know, that, that don't got nothing to do with me. I'm still gonna wake up tomorrow by the grace of God. I don't play like that. I was influenced a lot by Rihanna in my teen years, so I have a it mentality. My family has been really okay. Bitch, better have my money. Like, nah, she, yeah, she was influenced. She she living the highest of lives right now. Think about it. Not one bill, I bet, even touch her pockets. Like, sure, she's not a sugar baby, but I know she don't gotta pay a bill for no electricity. This is like, come on. <laughs> Like, imagine not having to touch a bill, bro. A bill. Like, you don't even gotta move a muscle. Just exist, and that shit getting paid for. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. My family has been really, really supportive of our whole relationship. And her mother's like, I'm convinced y'all knew each other in a prior life. Mm -hmm. I said, really? She goes, I'm, I've never seen my daughter smile and be this happy. <laughs> I tell all my friends it's way. I see, don't, I said, do not give me any crap. We're celebrating the big three months. Oh, That's good. Today. It has been three. It's just crazy, cause like, this man is decades older than her. Meaning so much further life experiences has been grasped from David. To where if anything, he just still teaching her the ropes. Yeah, she's a young adult, but like, we're not geniuses. Like, I would much rather take wisdom from someone who's of his age than someone who's either younger than me or like my age. So that means all of his friends who just so happen to be her friends through the connection, they're just like so far ahead of like her time. It's low-key messing my head up. Cause it's like, yeah, they get to do lavish stuff, but past 8 p.m. do it get boring? Like, I'm sure if she say, hey, you wanna go to the club? What if he hit you with, ah, my hip hurt. Oh, she gonna be screwed. Ha! <laughs> oh, that fun shit gonna have to get packed up. That mean they can't do nothing. They they can't have fun activities. And I would low key be upset a little bit if it's Friday night and, and you with your man and he in his 60s and you think, oh yeah, like he's so rich, exquisite. You trying to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and he hits you with, nah, shorty, my hip feel dislocated. I'm gonna take a rain check. Like I'm gonna be pissed. Three months of something. There you go. <laughs> You remember our trip to Puna? Brought my beautiful model, my little Willow, and uh, 
You know, I was a little nervous bringing her out, you know, bringing her over to meet y'all. Honestly, what y'all think? I mean, there's a big age difference, but who cares nowadays? You know, if you guys love each other and you're happy together, then I'll, you know, go for it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, uh, I ain't gonna lie, it's really not that deep, but that's if people want it to be deep. I don't care to that capacity. Like, I'll, I'll check it out, but like, the only way I could be upset is like, just me being jealous over the fact that like, oh my God, like, she gets to make 20 bands of her sleep. Like, I'll probably tweak over something like that. But outside of the context of like them still being consenting adults, again, it's real. I don't care, bro. I don't care. I wonder how much of an allowance she's getting though. Like, is she even getting paid? Like, I get it. Okay, she's not a gold digger, whatever. I know she still got a lot of money. How much do you think he's giving her? Or like, if she if she have a good week, can she get a Birkin? Like, these are real questions, dog. Like, what's the lifestyle like? Cause there's still a huge age gap at the end of the day. Someone in their 20s and someone in their 60s. We're talking middle-aged adulthood, then you're 50. Like, it's a large gap. What her day-to-day -day looking like? Like, do she got a vlog channel? What she be posting? It's just like, I know they having fun until 8 p.m. And then it's probably lights out. I don't know how much energy this man has, but I'm sure it's like that. When I saw her with you, I thought, she's way too pretty for you. How did you man? <laughs> <laughs> You're just as sweet then as, as you are now. So, no, I mean, you are, uh, you're a genuine person. And you seem so, very compatible. This has been an amazing connection. So we have a lot in common. I'm born February 2nd. She's February 3rd. And her favorite number is like 23. Yeah, and so I'm the second. She's the third. So there's a lot of. And we constantly see two, three everywhere. It's crazy. I mean, hey, listen, he seemed happy. She seemed happy. The money happy. Regardless, it don't matter what she do. They are living perfectly fine as Uno and Dos. I'm letting you know right now, this is like a slap in the face because I, I don't know what I was gonna, they just they just talking about all the good times, bro. And it makes me apparently want to get on a yacht. So it's like, if they get to do that, I need to get this money up so I can get a yacht. And she's the third, so there's a lot of, and we constantly see two, three everywhere. It's crazy. I mean, you are gonna come to the wedding, right? If that were to happen, where would it be? Do y'all wanna do it here or We're gonna get a private jet to take everyone to Italy. You already told me that. To a long lasting relationship. You see what I mean, bro? Fuck, she gets to go to Italy. Like what? And he already told her, so I don't know if, I don't know if it was, I don't know if the coup was hitting. I don't know what happened, but for him and her to already be in the talks of, oh yeah, listen, babe, when we get married, we gonna take that that private jet to Italy. Like what, bruh? She bagged one that crazy? Cause she's tw she's 23, like what is she doing? Nah, she bagged somebody with that money going crazy. Pockets silly. What? No. No, that's not fair. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. It's not fair. We want a dog and this is- I don't know if is... I want a dog or like an ocelot or something. I don't know. What's an ocelot? <laughs> Just trust me. So y'all getting tigers and shit? That's what I saw. So now y'all get to pick out tigers? It's like, you know what? She is a, she a gold digger to me. Cause uh -oh. they, they able to talk about a lot of stuff that just any, any, any person who came up off a quick scam or two can't offer her. Like if somebody hit a lick for like $40,000, cool. You can buy your girl a purse or the, no, 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 no. We're talking big boy pockets. We're talking wealth. They're talking about trips out of the country. They're talking about Lions, tigers, and bears. They're talking about private jets. One Birkin bag ain't gonna cut it nowadays. Oh, she did. She she really found herself. That one. Oh, I know. Oh, I know some. Oh, I know some people hating on her. Oh, I know some people hating on her tip. We're getting ready to go to our anniversary dinner. Have a little anniversary gift. Bam. We have the private wine cellar tonight, so I'm excited. If he proposed to her, I'm turning the video off because now I'm hating. Like now is gonna get to a point to where I just hate because it's like, what? Like how, how did they even like, yeah, they talked about it, but like, I wanna know, no. How did this even transpire? I love you, you always take me such fun places. Happy anniversary to us. Another present? 
Has it been the best Open nine it. days? Open it. What is it? Yeah, it has actually. What did you get me? <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, okay, earrings, cool. The way they talking about prices, I wouldn't be surprised if he bought her the newest double R truck. Okay, I'm I'm hating a little bit. It's okay to hate just a tiny bit. I'm not mad, but it's like shit. Pockets running deep, bro. Like buy me a truck. Fuck. They go with your diamond necklace. Yeah, look at that. Diamonds on our girl's best friend. The girl that changed my life. It's the most beautiful girl that I'm never gonna let down and spend the rest of my life with. Love you. Like, bro, it's like, like, gosh, bro. Like, this looks like Robot Pirate Island. I want to go here, bro. I want to do this. I'm hating. I'm hating it hard, heavy. I want that watch. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I am. I even brought her passport just in case. I dated pretty girls before, but there wasn't a connection. This was a connection, a real connection. And <laughs> she makes me happy, so what am I gonna do? Love me. Love you, feed you, take care of you. I mean, look, you know, it's like, I'm happy for him. And we'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. I'm immensely happy for him. Hope all the best. I know Santa Claus is gonna show up every year. <laughs> I know Santa is never gonna go away. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you just so happen to be new to the channel, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe. Until my next video, I will see you all soon. Peace out.